Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady and I'd like to welcome you back to Whips, Bits and Chat number 57. Right, so on today's Whips, Bits and Chat, well, of course we've got our video roundup and we've got a few other bits, so keep your eyes appealed. Right, I'd like to welcome all my old crazies back and all my newbies. There's nine new new crazies that have decided to pop over and say hello and hopefully enjoy the content that is on the channel. What I'd like to do before we start off today is if you could go oh, that way, <laughs> if you could click on the bell, give me a little thumbs up. That would be really appreciated. If you're clicking on the bell, make sure you select all that way. YouTube will tell you about all of the videos that I release during the week and not just the occasional one. Right, so let's start with our video catch up for this week. On Tuesday, I put out an Aragurumi a Caterpillar bag charm, hashtag 16. Yes, it looks stupid, it looks ridiculous, and I know each of you um, could do a better job, especially with that face. Um, so my challenge is, if you fancy taking it up, use the base with the feet and the other bits and pieces to create your own little bag charm and make improvements on the face. Because I'm telling you now, I haven't put these eyes in properly and they are coming out within the next couple of weeks and I will be giving it to Liam to test on my <laughs> abilities to stitch things on and see how long um, it lasts. Because it's completely and utterly a dog toffee. <laughs> um, right, so on to the next video for this week, which was um, a live. I came back and I did my live on Tuesday. Now, I did have some issues at the end and my internet dropped. So you've also got an attachment to this evening's live. Um, a little video with a bit of an apology and a little bit of extra information in that one right and then the next one up which came out on the 13th of may was the crocheted flowers um a book by claire crompton and the other book as well <laughs> um so it was a little book compilation there and those ones of course i got from a charity shop and then next one up was our regular throwback friday so i hope you enjoyed all of those videos this week now let's get on with the rest of today's one right so what have i been up to this week um as you could see i went a bit crazy on the crochet this week i managed to get <laughs> that tutorial out oh that was a challenge and a half just getting it out on time but hey that's me and it it takes me forever to get it uploaded or there's always something that doesn't quite go to plan and today or should i say on um tuesday it was trying to get the thing uploaded uh, that took an absolute age but it was all right because it meant i got to do a leg of the dragon while that was going now i needed to have that dragon finish from my daughter's birthday and i managed it with about two hours to spare or should i say i kept going till midnight passed out and woke up the next morning and went hey he's done so i thought i would bring him or her oh i'm dropping things <laughs> but bring him in for a closer look so here you go it's um a little bit bigger than some of you might have thought it is what's called a shoulder dragon so she can or he can sit on my shoulder now it is actually in a, a dark purple which and um an off-white and then a white because they're the colors that my daughter chose oh let's try and get her in quick and there we go and so it's got some extra details here you've got a special trick that you do when you're making it that will create some little nose holes and then you um you do a certain stitch over the top to give you some more definition and my husband said well it doesn't really you can't really see it from a distance so he took me into putting a little bit of white in there i was tempted to use bogey green but i thought better of it she might tell me off actually she probably wouldn't she'll probably paint over it or something with bogey green later but here we go that's the front and um, the worst bit of this entire pattern is the white bit for the toes that is the hardest bit because of course you're working um a stitch count of six and down and you're fighting with stuffing to try and keep the stuffing in the toe 
So that out of the whole pattern, the worst bit I find is the hand, uh, the fingers on the arms. So there we go, and there's the wings. I might do a little bit more tacking on because as I said previously, I've put wire in this top section here. Um, so that it gives it a bit more definition and it holds better than just a stuffed tube. So there you go. Almighty long tail. And if you can, I don't know if you all pick that up, but there's also ribbing in the tail. There is a little trick that she teaches us that gives, makes it so that it boofs up and it bumps. So all this section here, all the way down the tail. That's not colour variation, it is the same yarn and it is the bumps. Okay, so she is massive. Uh, let's see if I can get her to sit on my neck. My daughter tried this earlier and uh, didn't quite work. So, oh, where are you going? There we go. Just put her like that. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep her on there for long though. But yeah, it's absolutely a massive. My daughter got it at like half six seven o'clock this morning because she had to head off for her exams so i've got to take this a mighty dragon and pop it in the car with me and stick it on the um on the front window luckily i've got quite a deep um front window section of the car so there's like a shelf there that i can sit it on until she comes out of school and then she'll probably tell me off and say mom i can't believe you actually did it but there we go um i will tell you what the name is just down here because she had named it this morning but I can't remember all right so let's pop you down there stick your tail off the chair yeah it's that absolutely massive project thoroughly enjoyed working it and it's the second time now I've done it uh, first time round you will see you'll have seen it in the uh, caption at the beginning of each of my videos it has the smoke that comes out now that one was done in um, a DK yarn okay so it was a bit smaller <laughs> this one is actually done in an aran weight yarn so it's the next weight up so of course i had to go up a hook size as well um and it doesn't use as much stuffing as you might think <laughs> but yeah it is a massive she loves it i don't quite know where she is gonna put it i really don't but hey i don't care it's a big birthday for her so she can over i'm happy to make it Right, so the pattern for Vincent the Dragon was created by a beautiful lady called Katie and her website is Hooked by Katie and I will put the link just running across here and then in the description box down below I will link her main website page as well as the page to the free pattern. Now it is a really really in-depth pattern and she's also got um, a possible purchase pattern that you can do that goes into a lot more detail as to where to place um, the feet the arms and everything else okay so it's a more step-by-step -step guide if you're not overly confident with um, making aragurumi yourself or it's um, it looks like a project that might be a little bit big it might be an idea to actually purchase her pattern right let's see what's next right as for the poppy count this week yes i have been making poppies while i've been waiting for my daughter at school but i haven't actually pinned and bagged any of them yet so there is no additional poppies for this week's poppy count we are still up at 500 now time for the bestest bit of the video well for me anyway the bit you're waiting for is a bit further along but the bestest bit is your photos i absolutely love receiving your photos and on saturday last week after i'd done the editing for last week's whips and bits i received a photograph from our gorgeous Deanne and she has finally finished her moose blanket now Deanne actually won the pattern for this on the Facebook page when I asked for ideas for patterns and she came up with that one and um, I got stitched up <laughs> but she's also a made her moose pattern so have a look she sent us a couple of extra details telling us um, the yarn that she has used and the hook size that she has used I absolutely love this Deanne it is so cute and she's even beaten me because she's put a border on hers I haven't got around to that yet or sewing on all the ends <laughs> 
So uh, thank you ever so much, Deanne, um, for the image and for the extra information about the yarns and the hook sizes you used. Because of course I'm in the UK, so suggesting a yarns that the American crazies can get their hands on is a little bit difficult at times. Right, as I've said to you, my daughter's birthday is coming up. So myself and my eldest daughter today um, decorated the cake that my do eldest daughter made. Oh, this gets confusing. The eldest daughter made the base of the cake yesterday is in the sponge and stuff. And then today, and me and her decorated it. So um, we've got a little competition running at the moment, of course, because she is a bit of an art student, um, animation student, I should say. So she should be good with plasticine. And um, of course, I've only ever practiced when I was playing with kids with plus scene when they were little or if I have to attempt to make a birthday cake. Right, so here is a photograph of my daughter's 16th birthday cake. Now this is without the candles and all the extra bits to throw on it. Um, and it was taken inside the fridge <laughs> because I had to hide it from her. So can you guess which topping, uh, the toppers, which one of them I've made or should I say two or three? depending. Hmm, can you guess? Here's the picture. Right, so now it's time for the bit you lot have all been waiting for. Today I am picking two winners from two separate little competitions. Now these competitions, are, the names were drawn on the day that the competition closed. Right, so I'm having issues with that random comment picker again. So what I've done is written down all your names on this list. Oh, stupid son, I've got a break in my blinds. So here we go. Let's um, move that to there and hopefully you'll be able to see your name. Right, so uh, what I'm going to do now is, I've, as you can see, I've assigned you all a, num a number. So I'm just going to hit the random number generator instead and see who wins. Right, so a good luck everybody. Right, so here we go. Oh, I've just clicked the button. Right, and so let's see who it is. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Lucky number seven. Right, so let's pop over to the um, other camera and we'll see whose name that is. Right, so we are looking down our list for lucky and number seven, and that is oh my gosh, that is J Hook Crochet. Congratulations, darling. You know the deal. Send me an email, um, and we will discuss uh, which one of those two patterns are you fancy having a go at. And to be honest, I think your boys would pro probably like either one. But it's going to be a case of uh, which one my little sci-fi nut, meaning you, <laughs> wants to make. Right, I will see you in a second. Okay, so here we are. I'm back for the second competition for this week. Now, this was to a place in your comments section, in the comments section of the video, either option one or option two. Now, only three of you actually wrote option one or option two, so I'm going to have to be a bit of an evil tie rag today. They, the three people that are in are Deanne Spencer, YOH Crochet, and our cheeky Natalie. So, let's get this one spinning. Okay, stay in focus, stay in focus. Right, ready? Good luck, you three girls. Now, by the way, your name's on here six times. I thought, hey, why not? Hey, congratulations, Natalie. You know the deal, honey. You know, send me that email. I'll try that again, shall I? Send me an email so you can claim your prize. And remember, I will be a popping... Um, giving you a little comment to add into your comment so I can double check that the email is yours and not someone trying to nick your prize. 
Right, so uh, congratulations to Reggie at J Hook Crochet and also to a cheeky Natalie B. You know, I can never say your name. Can't even do it on lives, can I, Nat? <laughs> right, so congratulations to the pair of you, remember? I need you to send me an email and then put in the extra bits as requested so that we can doubly check that the email that's coming to me is actually yours and not someone else's. Right, so I am now going to head off. I will see you all really, really soon. I plan to be doing my live again this week at um, 7 p.m. GMT on Tuesday. And you never know, I might try and sneak in a couple more lives this week um, at very odd times because hey, I want to try and say hello to me Aussie lot that are in bed. And then I might even manage to stay up for the American game. <laughs> right, I will see you all really really soon so if you can please stay in and definitely stay safe and try for now everybody